All right. Uh, all right. Pink beds on WMCW. Another one.
live in Studio B right now with the Pink Beds here on WNCW. Uh, Aaron Aiken's a fine guitar work uh, showing through on that one, and just a really cool jam in general. Uh, and we've also got Jackson Van Horn on the other guitar and keyboards, and Logan Hall is on bass and keys, and Ryan Sargent over on the drums. When I think of like your influences, I don't know that they must be vast. Uh, I feel like I'm hearing a variety of different bands. You tell me, who all has inspired you the most to, to make this cool Pink Beds sound? Man, um, I mean, we're all just students of music. We dip our toes in a lot of stuff, you know? We love it. Yeah? Um, if I had to pick three, though, Fleet Foxes, I've probably listened more than any other band. Um, Phoenix, also, I guess. I don't know. We're and all I over the place. I love jam music. Mandolin so. Orange. Mandolin Orange. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Phoenix, I don't know. I don't know Phoenix. Oh, you should. They're okay. From um, Paris. From Paris. Yeah. All right. You know, I was I was kind of picturing a few kind of Scottish indie pop bands, but I can't think of who. But I don't know. You, you what you call it? I think a, or someone called you all a cerebral pop sound. I like <laughs> nice. that. It fits. We'll take and it. <laughs> yeah, I take it. Uh, nice psychedelic indie rock blend of all sorts. Uh, I'm hearing a lot of different influences on it, on this. And uh, you said, like I said, you got your start at little tiny house. In Brevard and Pisgah Forest, I assume the the name Pink Beds is inspired by that sweet little picnic hiking site along the parkway. It is, yeah. I also yeah. like how confusing it is to someone who's not from Brevard. Um, and we want to make up a crazy story about what that means, but no, you're exactly right. It's from that spot. <laughs> Do that though. Make up a crazy story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one now, but maybe we'll just wait it. Yeah, let, us, let us know. Well, all right. <laughs> you come up with something on stage. Uh, uh, that'll be fun. Uh, they're playing tonight at uh, Sierra Nevada Brewery there at the, um, the listener, the, the, the tap room up there. And I don't know, where do you guys want to be like, you know, five years from now, or maybe a year from now? These days it's hard to, to predict things of where you want to go, but where would you like to be a, couple, a year or two or three from now? Got any visions looking forward? Um, oh, you know, a couple of yachts or... Okay, <laughs> all right. Uh, I, I, there are some being uh, being uh, acquired from some oligarchs these days. Maybe you want one of them. <laughs> right. A little repo work. Take the bargain bin. Right. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's awesome. Ideally, it would be nice to, um, you know, hit the grindstone over the next couple of years and then uh, eventually have the flexibility to uh, pursue those opportunities that we would like, you know, be it like, you know, in the studio working with artists or, you know, going even further out with our gigs uh, just, you know, setting the framework to eventually have the flexibility to pursue those things we may want to at some point. Yeah. Well, you put the intention out there like you just did, Jackson, and you never know what could happen. Watch out. <laughs> right on. 